There is good news for passengers of the oldest light rail transit system in the country. The Light Rail Manila Corporation is fulfilling its promise to rehabilitate the stations of LRT Line 1 this year. Motoring Today Field Correspondent Ian Ardiente reports. Metro Manila's oldest light rail transit system, the Light Rail Transit Line 1 or LRT1, admittedly has seen its station deteriorate over the years. This has been the subject of complaints from the riding public. However, late last year, the Light Rail Manila Corporation or LRMC, operator of the LRT Line 1, unveiled a program to begin the rehabilitation and upgrading of stations. The program is now being carried out in earnest according to the LRMC. Uh, safety signages, uh, you will see a lot of them during, uh, after the station improvement and this will include signs such as uh, where to go, destination signs and exit signs as, as well as safety signs. And uh, included also in the station improvement are uh, the what you call monitors that will uh, tell passengers if there are uh, reminders that they need to know. So uh, we expect that when the whole uh, system will have uh, a newly improved station, then it will be a very good uh, riding experience uh, to our riding public. The program includes not only improvement of the facilities and security against pilferage of station and equipment, but also the security and safety of the riding public. The Line 1, uh, being a viaduct, um, we have a more secure uh, uh, riding environment, which means that we are not really exposed to uh, filthy uh, rates or exposed to situations wherein people can uh, take out a uh, track system. Uh, we have some areas wherein we see as a security concern and what LRMC is doing is putting up uh, fences on these uh, areas to ensure uh, that the systems will not be affected by people who would wish to uh, take out some of the systems. So, safe to say that the safety is a number one concern of LRMC, not only safety but security as well. Uh, we have sufficient uh, and very tight security on stations uh, to ensure that the riding public is safe whenever they take the LRT system. Aside from maintaining the stations all part of its concession agreement with government, the LRMC is also looking to increase the number of its rolling stock. Part of our concession agreement is to ensure that the system will last for the next 32 years. And we have uh, a commitment to the grantor, which is the DOTC and LRTA. And some of these programs, aside from the rail replacement, the rolling stock, uh, uh, overhaul restoration are also uh, improvement of facilities which, which are in the depot. Uh, in the next few years, uh, we are planning to restore mo uh, more trains. Hopefully by next year we will hit the 100 mark. Uh, originally we were handed over 77 and for the next uh, five to six months we were able to uh, restore more trains, more LRBs, and at present we now have 91 operational as of today. The improvement of the stations and the increase in the number of trains in operation bode well for regular users of LRT Line 1. Train users are hoping this also becomes true for other light rail systems in the metro.